Hey guys, so I'm actually in the exact same place I ended the vlog last night, but it is currently a little bit after 9 right now. I just finished uploading the vlog from yesterday, so if you haven't gone and seen that, then definitely go do that. Also, I brought up these frames, because these are the two frames that are going to be going on this wall, and I purchased some prints for them, which thank you so much. I forget what your name was, but someone commented on that vlog when I originally got these frames and said to go check out Decino, Decino, but they have amazing minimalistic art if you are interested in that. So go check that out. I purchased two from that um, website and I'm really excited to get them. It says they'll come in 10 to 15 days to Canada. So I'm, I'm just, I have time to wait now, but you literally just woke up. Oh, and you burped. Mmm, yum. Aww. Anyways, I'm just about to head downstairs. I had a little bit of cold brew from yesterday, so I'm going to grab that. I'm also going to make some avocado toast because I'm craving some avocado toast. And I'm going to head to the office, aka downstairs, and I'm going to get to work. Um, I can't really print or start printing the mystery kits yet. I'm going to start printing them tomorrow, but I think I can go through and see if there's any orders that don't contain the mystery kit or things that people ordered along with the mystery kit that I don't have printed yet. Um, I'm going to print and cut those and then maybe get some orders out today. what's up it's a little bit later right now I think it's about noon right now and I've set up everything to print I had some issues with my printer I set up like a good 10 to 12 things to print oh thank you babes and just all of a sudden my printer just stopped printing and then wouldn't start printing again so I had to cancel it all turn off my computer turn it back on and then had to set it up all over again which kind of sucks but sometimes I have to do that and it's just what I have to deal with. So I'm going to, while that stuff is finishing printing, I'm gonna go and take a shower. Gotta admit, I haven't had a shower for a few days, so I should probably do that. I don't have a boyfriend and I don't really see a lot of people, so sometimes I go two days without a shower. Don't come for me. But yeah, I'm gonna go do that because I stink and I need to shave my legs, so TMI. <laughs> Okay guys, so sorry about the cutter in the background, but I quickly wanted to let you guys know that I am currently going through all of my personal stickers. I have way too many. Penny wants to come in. Do you want to come in, Bubba? Do you want inside? Don't smash into the screen, please. Seriously? You're already up on my chair. You're crazy. There's no food, there's no food. No, there's no food for you. Anyways, like I was saying, I am going through all of my personal stickers. These are all of like my item and, you know, activity stickers. So I kind of put them into a bunch of different piles and now I'm putting them into here. This is where all of my item and activity stickers go. I have one for functional stickers and I have two for kits, which I desperately need to go through my kits. What's up? It's been a while since I've vlogged. Penny's going crazy. I just let her in from outside. For some reason, whenever she goes in the backyard, she gets this little like high. She's like, yes, I was outside. I'm so happy. But anyways, um, for the last few hours, I think the last time I vlogged, I told you guys I was going to have to have a shower. Clearly I'm in my braids, which means I had a shower. 
and I'm all clean and I have shaven legs and I'm feeling great. So um, I did that. I got out of the shower at about 1.30 ish and then I came down here, started cutting stickers and I'm just about to start packaging them. I have literally 14 orders that I have to package and it took me like four hours to cut them all because it's currently 6.04. So <laughs> that, that's a lot for freaking 14 orders. But anyways, see, so yeah, I'm going to package those, but I do need to go get some dinner and I'm thinking I might just make some pasta because I've been craving pasta. And what I used to do in college, this is like fast mac and cheese, but basically I just made noodles and then like layered noodles, then grated cheese, then noodles, then grated cheese, then noodles, then grated cheese, and then I put it in the microwave and then you just mix it up and it tastes so good. So I think I'm just gonna make that for dinner. I'm probably not gonna show you guys because literally I'm just gonna be boiling some noodles and then mixing it with grated cheese. So I'm gonna have that for dinner. I know it's not the best. I keep on getting notifications from somebody, but I know it's not the best for me, but I really don't wanna make my um, last chef's plate meal because tomorrow night I am going out for dinner and I feel like if I make that, I'm gonna have leftovers and I can't eat them tomorrow, so they'll have to wait until the next day and then by then I probably won't wanna eat it because I'm weird about leftovers, but anyways, I'm gonna stop yapping. I'm gonna go make my dinner and then I'm gonna come down here, finish packaging, which I've packaged two so far, so I have 12 more to go, which will only take me like maybe a half an hour not even, and then I'm gonna take those to the post office. They won't go out until Monday, but I still wanna get them out um, and then send the notifications or like whatever they're called. Oh, that scared the heck out of me. I thought there was a bug. Did you seriously try to jump onto my lap? You are fearless. You're fearless. Sorry, like I was saying, I thought originally there was a bug on my arm, but it's just a hole from the shirt. And I do want to get these out just so I can send dispatch emails, get those out of the way. And then tomorrow I'm going to start fresh by starting to work on the mystery kits because today is the last day to purchase them. And then I'm hopefully going to get mystery kits out by early next week. Um, my latest would be like Friday of next week, but I definitely don't think it's going to take that long. So yeah, I'm going to probably print them this weekend, start cutting them on Monday. I might be able to get them out by Tuesday or Wednesday, which is pretty awesome. I'm so excited, but anyways, yeah, I'm going to do that, and then I will catch up with you guys later. I did get all of my stickers organized, which I maybe will show you guys later. My only thing is I kind of want to make a video for Planting Roses YouTube for that, like showing you guys all of my stickers and how I organize them, but I did a really good purge of kits because I was getting so overwhelmed with the amount of kits that I had. And like I didn't know what to use each week because there was just so many and then like some of them I really wanted to use but I don't have time to use them and all sorts of things. So did a really good job. But anyways, I'm going to go make my dinner. I'm getting hungry and I'm yapping too much. Okay, bye. So I finished eating my dinner and then like you guys saw I also packaged the rest of the orders and I'm quickly going to take these to the post office. The post office is still open but the last truck I'm pretty sure leaves at like 5 so these will just stay at the post office over the weekend and then they will go out on Monday which is awesome. It's currently 7.20 so I'm going to take those to the post office. Hey guys well, what is up? I just got home from Shoppers Drug Mart. That is where the post office is and I picked up a few things. So I'm going to show you and then I'm going to actually take Miss Penny out for a walk and I figured I may as well go now. It's about 8 o'clock right now and I usually take her out at 9 but I figured why not I take her out now so then I can come home and relax instead of like relaxing for a bit then taking her out and then relaxing again. 
I'll just take her out now. Also, I look really funny without glasses. I think I've been wearing my glasses a lot the last few days, so I look really funny without them now. I look like a little boy without them. Anyways, I got a few things, and it's very random. Like, literally, I got some Bjor strips. These are my favorite nose strips. I used one last night, and it was my last one, so I was like, oh. Better pick up some of those. So I got the big pack, which has 14 of them, which lasts me quite a while. And then I also got a candle lighter, obviously. But this one is like specifically, like it's specifically a candle lighter. It's not just a lighter. I almost got a normal lighter, but then I'm like, this one looks cuter. So I got that one. And then this might be super TMI, but I got a grapefruit, ooh, verbena gentle wash this is um for washing your body and you're allowed to wash all of your body if you know what i mean and it won't it's like ph balance all that stuff you know feminine wash ladies make sure you don't wash you know what with normal body wash because it's not good but I also, these are the last things, I got um, dry shampoo. I've never tried Batiste before, but I've heard a lot of good things about it, and I'll, I've heard in general a lot of things about it. So I got the um, beautiful brunette ones. These were two for 20, I believe. And originally, they are like $12 each or something. So I got a little bit of a deal. And I'm running out of my, I think I have a living proof one. I'm running out of that one. So I figured I may as well stock up on some that are a little bit cheaper than buying one from Sephora. But anyways, that's everything that I got. Nothing special. I just figured while I was at Shoppers, I may as well get a few things. So now that I'm done, we're gonna go outside. You wanna go for a walk? Anyways guys, I am now back from walking Penny and it was really nice to actually walk not so late. So now it's only 9.09 .09, so I have a little bit of time to just relax. And because I went through my stickers today, I figured I could afford to, or not afford to, but like I can get a few sticker kits and I need a few sticker kits to get me through um, November and December. So let's get Etsy shopping. <laughs> Okay, so final thing, I have my Hello Petite paper kit with the deco and the glitter headers. And then I also am purchasing two kits from Murdoch Talks. I'm actually going to remove this from my cart. And then that's going to be it for now. And then, like I said, I'm going to maybe check later this weekend about the Winter Life kit from Little Paper Prints. But that is everything I'm getting. I'm so excited. Okay guys, so I purchased the three kits like I told you guys. I purchased two from Murdoch Talks and one from Hello Petite Paper. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that the Little Paper Prints does restock the Winter Life kit this weekend because I am literally like just so, so in love with that kit and I want it so bad. But I'm so excited about these three kits that I got. Um, after I get the Winter Life, fingers crossed, I think I'll be good for the rest of November and December. I have a few kits that I was going to use last year that I'm going to use this year. Um, there's also a few kits from my shop that I really want to use. So I'm excited. I have a ton of kits to pick from. And anyways, I'm going to actually end the vlog here. It is only 9.24, but I do have dance early in the morning tomorrow. So I think I'm going to answer a few questions now and then I'll just be able to edit the vlog and have that schedule uploaded tonight. So, so the first comment I'm pretty sure was Katie. Yes, Katie Halushka. She said first and then commented again, I hope, lol. Yeah, you were first, don't worry. The first question is from Amanda Barrera and she said, Jenna, what is your most favorite fast food meal? Um, that's a good question. I'm pretty sure it's a tie between the Son of Bacon Eater, which I had in this vlog that you guys saw, which I friggin' love it. It's like literally the worst burger probably in all of Wendy's. It's probably worse than all of the burgers at McDonald's too, but it is so good. But then I also do really like the steak and cheese um, sub from 
Subway, which is kind of what I was going back and forth between last night, but I ended up getting the Wendy's. So I'd definitely say either Wendy's Son of Baconator or Subway Steak and Cheese Sub. Those are good. Next question is a pretty quick one, but it's from Elizabeth. Adriana and she asks, would you say that Starbucks drink is really sweet on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, I would say it wasn't extremely sweet. I'd say it'd probably be a 6 out of 10. Um, when I get like my caramel macchiato or my cinnamon dolce latte, those ones are like more like 9 out of 10 in the sweet. But this one was definitely like more of a 6 or even a 7 with the vanilla and hazelnut shots. But Okay, so the next question, it's not really a, well, it's kind of a question, but basically this is from Hillary W01, and she said, I watched this like three hours ago and then thought, and then a thought just popped in my head like a light bulb going off. I was reading the comments about the cold brew coffee because it's always been interested, I've, what, wait, whoa, because I have always been interested in it myself. A few people said that they don't drink it often because it has so much caffeine in it and it gives them the shakes, etc. It was so funny to me that you drank it with your dinner and then was like, good night. <laughs> that is really funny. Um, well, it wasn't quite like that, but you've never mentioned it being super caffeinated or anything. So were you able to sleep easily last night? Do you have a high caffeine tolerance because you drank coffee that morning too? And to answer your question, yes, I have a very high caffeine tolerance. I actually drank about half of that cold brew last night, had absolutely no trouble going to sleep at all. I actually never have trouble going to sleep and I don't want to jinx myself, so I'm going to knock on wood, but I didn't have trouble falling asleep last night and I slept wonderfully, and then I actually drank the other half this morning, and I never felt any sort of shakes. Honestly, I think it's because I eat so much like sugary foods. I'm gonna be honest, I cannot go a day without having like a snack or like candy or something. So I think I've just become kind of immune to caffeine and to sugar and that sort of thing. So definitely did not affect me. I sometimes have freaking coffee from Starbucks, like, at like nine o'clock at night, which is so bad. And then I don't even have any trouble getting to bed that night. So yeah, did not affect me whatsoever. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and also comment down below any questions. If I missed yours today, definitely comment tomorrow and I will definitely get to it. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next vlog, which is tomorrow, which is going to be a fun vlog, guys. I have dance in the morning. I'm going to print some stuff when I get home from dance. I'm going out for dinner with my family and like my aunt and uncle and my cousin, the ones that you saw when I was at my parents' house, my parents' house last Monday. And then I'm also going to Fear Farm. So get excited for tomorrow. It's going to be a good one. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Feel my lungs with sweetness And you feel